one of the best tools for optimizing and automating the CPU in real time, is nothing less than the free version of Process Lasso. The program is multifunctional and in many ways much better than the Task Manager tool available in Windows 10. Controlling what goes on while your computer is running can be tricky. Most of the time, there are things running in the background that you don't even know about. That is why we all love to use task managers. Although Process Lasso does not bill itself as a task manager, it can help you optimize your computer's performance, leaving other task managers in the dust. What is it and what does it do? Process Lasso is a program that automatically helps you optimize your processes, CPU cores, and CPU consumption. The program also allows you to keep an eye on all of the processes running on your computer. This allows you to keep a watch out for disruptive processes that may be hugging up your CPU. Just remember, Process Lasso does not call itself a task manager. The part of the program that appears as a task manager is just there to help with the program's primary functions, which is process optimization and automation. The primary purpose of Process Lasso is to catch and kill rogue programs that take up too much CPU. In its most basic form, Process Lasso works by setting a CPU usage threshold level. Any process that crosses the threshold level is either killed or its priority lowered in an attempt to lower that process CPU usage. This is done to prevent one or two processes from consuming all your computer's processing power and thus causing a lockup. Process Lasso also works the other way having the ability to boost the priority of some processes to improve performance, such as when you play a game and the game's process is boosted and protected to prevent disruption. And it does much more too. It's important to note that running Process Lasso as it comes configured by default is enough to have a considerable improvement on your system. This is because of a function known as ProBalance. ProBalance can be best jumped into by having a look at the main drop-down menu. Here we'll find some general functions, such as power settings for your PC or a toggle for multiple users. The first settings you'll want to consider enabling ProBalance, hitting ProBalance enabled will start the ProBalance algorithm. This setting comes enabled by default and allows Process Lasso to dynamically adjust your CPU priorities with little to no performance overhead. This will, in general, improve responsiveness and overall performance. Smart Trim Pressing Smart Trim enabled will allow Process Lasso to halt or deprioritize certain processes when performance thresholds are reached. This setting is great for lower-end machines but might cause certain programs to behave unusually. Idle Saver Hitting Idle Saver enabled enables a power plan that Process Lasso will enact when the system goes idle. This allows the user to run a high-performance profile while active but save energy while inactive. Performance mode, pressing performance mode enabled will bring all of your CPU cores out of any applicable low power state to maximize your performance in a burst. It's not recommended to leave it on all of the time, but can be worth it if you'd like to see exactly how much of a difference process lasso can make. All of these functions can be easily toggled by right-clicking on the program's taskbar icon. Automated functions are all good and well, but how do we really take control of our CPU? Additional performance benefits can be gained by manually configuring your system. Try sorting your performance list by memory usage. Have a look at what's taking up the most resources on your system. A general idea can be gathered by sorting all processes by memory, either private working set or private bytes. Many of the functions native to Windows Task Manager can be replicated from this main screen. Right-click on a program and you'll have immediate access to modifying the CPU priority and CPU affinity. You can also modify the different thread priorities and core attributes, just as you would in Windows Task Manager. If you have a few active processes on your system that might not need all that power, you can select multiple processes at once by holding control as you click. You may also notice two options available in the right-click menu. These are called Induce Performance Mode and Exclude from Pro Balance, and they can come in great handy when controlling your processor and the threads on it. By setting a program to Induce Performance Mode, that program will activate all associated cores at all times while running. This can result in a considerable increase in performance. By contrast, excluding a program from Pro Balance will prevent Process Lasso from modifying it automatically. This could be handy if the program is particularly unstable. 
Process Lasso is not meant to make your computer faster. If you have a Pentium 3 and you expect Process Lasso to turn it into a quad core, you will be very disappointed. Similarly, Process Lasso is not meant to make your programs run faster. Rather, Process Lasso is intended to help you manage your CPU in the most efficient way possible, preventing rogue CPU usage from causing problems. In other words, Process Lasso doesn't make anything faster. It stops programs processes from unnecessarily making your computer programs run slower. In that regard, Process Lasso performs extremely well. If you are looking for CPU management, Process Lasso is one of the best. Plus, since there is a free version, so you won't lose much by giving it a go. If you like what you see in the free version, I would recommend taking the free trail of the paid version, that will unlock the paid features for a select amount of tries. If you decided you like Pro, you can purchase it. Or you can simply stick with the free version, it may not have as many features as Pro, but it is still does an excellent job at CPU management, also watch these videos about improving PC performance. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.